Hello, my name is Kim Sauer at CES in Las Vegas. I'm joined today by Vera Schmidt, who works for Mercedes-Benz, and you have an extremely cool job because you're looking into the future. You're looking ahead, well, not five years, but 10 years and beyond. What does your job actually entail? So our projects uh, involve the future trends on future interaction concepts for cars in like 10, 15, 20 years. And we uh, create visions how you interact with these robots from the outside and from the inside of the car. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're based in Silicon Valley, where a lot of this R&D takes place, but um, is, it, is that your central part for, for R&D uh, of, of future development, or is that a collaboration between lots of geographies? So, for the F015, uh, there are a lot of departments who were involved into the project. Uh, in Germany, the headquarters from R&D in there, the head, uh, different design departments, extra inter design and Como and Sindelfing, and also the advanced user experience design and engineering in Silicon Valley in Sunnyvale. And we are there because we also collaborate with different uh, departments and companies uh, for sensory uh, um, sensors and technologies. Now you mentioned the F015. This is a very futuristic car that was unveiled here at CES for the first time um, at a keynote that was held on Monday uh, evening. Now this is a driverless autonomous uh, car, but it has a host of other um, features around it that you've been working on. Tell us a little bit about those. So for example, you see a front wheel where you see like LED lights, and these lights are there to communicate to pedestrians, for example. So once a car is driving autonomous, and that's a robot, this car can communicate to humans outside a car. For example, when the person wants to cross the street, the car can signal why you can uh, cross the street or please wait. What can even project laser light onto the road to project a uh, zebra crossing. Mm -hmm. And also interact with the cars at the back to, to indicate there's something happening in front. So essentially um, security is very high on that list. Not just for the passengers inside, but the whole surrounding area. That's true. So you, in the back wheel, you can see that there are people, for example, in front of the car. So you can uh, create a kind of transparency and can look through the car and safety is the uh, most important f uh, feature, of course. And uh, for us, very important while the car is driving autonomous. Mm -hmm. Um, now, uh, this is a car of the future and there are probably uh, lots of features that you're working on that we can't even imagine. So, um, uh, is there a lot that you're, you're sort of going beyond all those features that we saw in the F015? Yes, we already have new ideas, we will proceed. But for example, what's really important is why cars driving autonomous. We still have a steering wheel in there, we still have pedals, gas pedals. But we want the person to also be still be able to drive the car, but we created a special interface for it, we call it conducting, conduct the car, it's a commander module, a digital interface where you can speed up the car or slow it down, so it's a complete new way of driving and more essential way of driving. So I guess it's empowering us, the human being, to decide on do we want to give control over to the car or do we want to keep that control, and also the car interacting with us and maybe predicting what what we want to do? Yeah, prediction is a big part of the autonomous driving car because it needs to know what's around the surrounding, what's the traffic around you, and that's why the car can predict a lot. And the interaction between the car inside to the human is very important. And that's why we created this big launch, the luxury space where the person can do whatever he or she wants to relax, make business calls, or interact with the outside environment. Mm -hmm. Very exciting, um, a, a, a long show and a very important show for you here, I'm sure, and uh, we've still got a couple of days, so I hope your feet won't suffer too much. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us Thank today. You for your time.